All right, today we're looking at the 12 megapixel Coolpix S3000. Very small, very nice, portable uh, little point and shoot camera, but very powerful. Like I said, 12 megapixels, it goes up to ISO 3200, and it has uh, one really, really nice lens. Uh, so let's take a, uh, a little tour around this very nice camera, very affordable camera as well. Uh, and it's actually quite versatile, and that's mostly due to the lens. Now, uh, looking at this lens right here, it's actually Nikon ED glass. It's a four times optical zoom. It's actually 27 to 108 millimeters, 35 millimeter equivalent. That means you can go from extremely wide uh, to extremely zoomed in uh, and I'll have that on one little lens. Uh, it has four way image stabilization. I'll turn it around here. You're gonna see it's pointing at me. I'm gonna put my head in the frame. I'm gonna shake the camera. You're gonna see the image doesn't really move on the screen. Even though I'm shaking the camera, uh, it stays there and that's because it does have face detection. It has four way image stabilization. Now the first way uh, that stabilizes your image is let's say you're looking inside and the sensor is right here. Uh, well there is an electronic VR stabilization. Basically the camera knows that it's shaking and it's going to automatically shift the image inside the viewfinder and on the sensor so that it does not shake. Also has motion detection which is pretty cool. Uh, let's say that you're following uh, something on the screen and let's say that it's actually moving from here to here, it's actually going to realize that yes, there is motion on the screen, uh, and it's what's going to do is going to increase the shutter speed and it's going to crank up the ISO, and that's going to give you a sharper, clearer image. Uh, it also has a very high ISO of 3200, so if you do want to uh, take some low light shots or get sharp shots during movement, uh, cranking it up to ISO 3200 is going to give you a lot uh, of leeway as far as that's concerned. It also has a really cool setting, uh, it's actually in the menu. Let's see if I can bring it up here. It's called BSS, or the Best Shot Selector. And basically what that does uh, is that it's going to take 10 shots consecutively, and it's going to pick the best of the 10. Um, so that's not something you're going to find on too many other types of cameras. Uh, this is pretty much a Nikon uh, exclusive. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, image mode. I sh believe it should be in continuous. There it is, BSS. I'm going to select it. Now it's in BSS mode. I'm going to hit the shutter. And basically, I'm going to take the photo. It's actually taking 10 photos right now. And it already, it's already done. Uh, so basically, there it is, it's done. I'm gonna go to playback. And it picked the sharpest photo out of all of them. Uh, it doesn't even give you the other 10 that you took. It only gives you that one right there. So it's gonna pick the sharpest photo. That's really, really cool. Uh, now, there's also a couple other really cool features. Uh, if you wanna be shooting in full automatic, there's a mode. Uh, it's called the Auto Scene Selector. Basically, what it does uh, is that it goes through all the different scenes that are available. Uh, this camera actually has quite a few uh, I will show you here just a couple of them. Uh, basically, you have portrait, landscape, sports, night portrait, party, beach, snow, sunset, dust on, night landscape, close up, food, museum, fireworks show, copy, backlight, and panorama assist. Now, of all those scenes, when you have the auto scene selector on, it's going to automatically pick those uh, for you, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you wanted to do something uh, you know, actually specific, you're actually at the beach and you want to use beach, you can do that. It also has a panorama assist, so if you're going to do a pan where you go like this and you pan all the way across, it's going to give you little lines so that you can line up the image perfectly to make sure you have a perfect horizon uh, so that when you stitch them together, you don't lose the outsides and you have to crop uh, too much. Uh, now, while we're back here and we're looking at this screen, uh, I kind of want to show you the screen because it is uh, a pretty fantastic little screen. It's a 2.7 uh, inch, actually, 230,000 dot display, so it's very fine display, it looks uh, almost HD, looks really nice, and that's important because it makes you, lets you know that you actually got the photo that you wanted to get. Uh, you can see when you zoom in there, you don't see any pixels, all you see is the smooth screen, uh, so very, very nice as far as that's concerned. Uh, now, another cool thing about this is that it does shoot video. Uh, as you can see, you have a nice little microphone right there, so it will shoot uh, some nice little you know, 480p video. It's nothing spectacular, but you do have the option of shooting video if you so desire. Uh, it does have a uh, built-in flash as well. You can see it. It's right there, kind of hidden, uh, but it is there, and it has a host, uh, and I'm talking about a serious host of smart features. So, uh, you know, so far we've kind of looked at like regular point-and-shoot camera features. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, more high-end cool features. Let's see if we can find some of them. They're kind of hard to get to. Um, I'm going to start off with Smart Portrait. Very cool little feature here. Uh, I'm going to go into Continuous, just so you can see the different shots you have. You have Single, 
You have continuous, where it's going to take several frames per second. It's going to have BSS, where it takes 10 and then picks the sharpest. And then there's multi-shot 16, which basically takes 16 very low-res shots uh, and then puts them into one picture. Uh, so that's a really cool feature if you're going to catch something fast. But uh, let's go and look at some of the other uh, possible features. Now, Smart Portrait's pretty interesting. Smart Portrait is going to actually uh, take a picture. I'm going to take a picture of myself here. It's going to face detect myself. And what it does is it actually is going to automatically smooth out my skin tones. Uh, it's going to basically blur my skin. It's going to get rid of any skin imperfections that I might have. I don't have any. I'm beautiful. Uh, but it's going to get rid of them. It's going to look really good, especially when you're uh, you know, taking a picture of a beautiful woman. She might have them having a pimple on her face. It's not pretty good looking, but it'll, it'll basically flatten all that out, even out the skin tones uh, in case there's any imperfections in the skin. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, another cool feature is uh, the smile timer. Basically, it's not on right now, but as you can see, it's tracking my face. So it has intelligent uh, face tracking. It knows that this is a face, and it can actually track up to 12 faces at the same time. Now, there's a feature called the smile timer where basically when I smile, it's going to automatically take the photo if that mode was enabled. Uh, that way, you always get uh, the smart smile, or basically, you always get someone catching a smile. You're not going to catch somebody right in between. It also has uh, a blink warning. Actually, it's called, uh, actually, what is it called? It's called blink proof. Now, some of them have blink warning where basically, if you took a photo and somebody was blinking in it, it's going to uh, give you a warning and saying, hey, take the photo again. This is even better. Blink proof actually takes two photos, and it only saves the photo where the person didn't blink in it. So that's a really cool feature uh, that you don't see very often, especially in little point and shoots like this. Uh, now, there's also some red eye correction that's built into the camera. Uh, if you want to take a photo uh, and take out the red eye, you can just go ahead and take it out inside the camera without having to worry uh, about doing it in Photoshop or any other type of post-processing outside of the camera in the computer. Uh, and you also have a face priority autofocus, uh, which is pretty cool. It'll actually track up to 12 faces uh, on this little camera. It'll track 12 faces and make sure that A, the focus uh, and the sharpness are all perfectly aligned. So basically, there's 12 people. It's going to make sure that all 12 people uh, come out and focus. Very nice little camera. And I'll tell you what else. Uh, it's a really good price. Uh, it's quite affordable. It's uh, very versatile. It's got the good lens. It shoots very well in low light with that high ISO 3200. Uh, and if you're looking for something that's a simple point of shoot with maybe a few extra little features, uh, this is probably exactly what you're looking for. Very nice camera. Uh, it's the S3000 from Coolpix. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Nikon Coolpix S3000 digital camera, type in N13-4648 into any major search engine.